This morning, Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley is pitching new initiatives on the heels of his State of the County address. The county executive addressed crime, the parks, and spoke at length about the continuing battle with the coronavirus and longtime disparities in our community exposed because of it. And this morning, we are honored to have County Executive David Crowley in person, live with us here in the studio. Good morning, you are our first live in-person guest here <laughs> in almost two years, so it's really nice to have you with us. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be on the show with both you, Vince, and, uh, excuse me, Vince and, and Susan. And uh, congratulations again. Yeah, thanks. You're getting congratulations. I know, from look at that. <laughs> well, let's talk about COVID because, uh, we, we, as we mentioned, you're our first in person guest in almost two years. And you said the pandemic really exposed uh, the inequities that we are seeing in our community when compared with uh, black and brown uh, population. Mm -hmm. Where do we go from here as a community based on what y the county has learned? Absolutely. So, first and foremost, thank you for having me. And I want to say thank you to not only you, but your staff and the precautions taken in order for me to actually join you in the studio today. Uh, but we have learned basically, you know, there's a long road ahead of us when it comes down to really combating uh, the pandemic. We know that across this nation, people shared the same similar uh, experiences as Milwaukee County. We think about the severe, possible severe effects on our finances and our ability to deliver services. But we've been able to create a COVID dashboard, a COVID-19 dashboard to really look at the data and that absolutely informs how we proceed as we move forward. We currently see that cases are coming down, but we know that we need to get this life-saving vaccine in as many arms as possible. So it's about getting trusted mes messengers to have these types of community uh, conversations, community conversations about how we move forward and start to open up our economy and live the life that we live pre-pandemic. We're talking with Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley. Uh, I'm a suburbanite, grew up in Wauwatosa. Mm -hmm. I live now in Greendale. Your uh, issues and willingness to take on uh, the fiscal cliff that is approaching for our parks uh, certainly speaks to me. Uh, our Andrea Albers put together a really nice report on just how serious that problem is. We're talking about a half billion dollars in deferred maintenance. My question to you is, you know, it seems like when we face this, we, we always have two options, drastically cut services or increased taxes. Is there an option C? Is there an option C? Uh, no, there, there is not an option C. One, when we think about our parks, you know, this, this is one of our a community treasure, right? I would say a hidden treasure in plain sight because a lot of people don't understand the amount of parks that we have, over 157 parks. You have the beautiful Bradford Beach. And so for me as county executive, but also as a person who utilizes these parks, we have to do everything that we can. And, and it's going to take actually doing the sales uh, tax increase, local option sales tax option, uh, for us to have that increase for us to really focus on the scale of the problem you know we can talk about shared revenue we can talk about all these other things but in order to fix the real issue at hand we need that one percent sales tax so let's talk a little bit more about that sales tax proposal that you have how close or how likely is that to happen and why not think about maybe you talked about all the parks maybe close a few parks that are not being used or fewer bus lines mm -hmm. or uh, making some of those hard choices as opposed to increasing a sales tax for on everyone well the thing is is that when we talk about the fiscal cliff this is because we are focusing so much of our dollars on state mandated services when we think about non-mandated services, those are our parks, our senior service, arts programs, youth services, disability services. So when we think about the issues that, that is at hand, we can't continue to cut. We've literally cut to the bone. And I have to say thank you to our parks team and, and many of our partners, like the Parks Foundation, as well as the Wisconsin Policy Forum, that have really been assessing and looking at solutions to fix this problem. You did address uh, crime extensively in, in your uh, address as well. Uh, I'm curious because, you know, you sort of the sheriff's office is its own entity it all mm -hmm. falls under county but your ability to get into the city at least from a law enforcement perspective is fairly limited in your role mm -hmm. what do you see your role as being in the crime problem specifically in the city of milwaukee well when we think about crime when we think about public safety we have to realize that that's a reaction to crime actually happening in our neighborhoods so we want to focus on root causes how do we invest our dollars upstream to really get at the issues of poverty of, of mental health and behavioral health issues that we're seeing making sure that we can get people uh, you know, trained and upskill their skills so they can get better employment. And so we are looking to invest our dollars upstream so we don't have to spend more money on the back end when we think about incarceration and law enforcement. And it's not to say that law enforcement doesn't have a role, but we know that there are some things that we need to do on the front end because we've seen generations of disinvestments in too many communities in Milwaukee County. 
tough issues, deep conversations. Yes. County Executive David Crowley, thanks so much for your time. What a first two years in office. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it, it's been, it's been a wild one, right, but, but, right. but I love the job. Well, thank you so thanks much so for much your time. Thank nice you. to see you in person. Likewise.